Hi everybody. A little bit different kind of a, a prayerful pause today. I want to invite you to uh, think about the Lord's Prayer, the in some traditions called the Our Father. I went to a retreat, oh probably now about, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, well, I can tell you when it was, um, 2006. So yeah, 14 years ago. And it was all on the Lord's Prayer as a sort of a skeleton for how to structure our own prayer lives. And it meant that uh, we would, you know, take the um, traditional Lord's Prayer and first off, figure out, well, how do we relate to God? Our father, is it our father? Is it our mother? Is it our creator? Um, a friend of mine begins Abba because she pictures God close like that. Um, who art in heaven? You know, hallowed be thy name. Holy is your name. Our creator who is greater than all holy is your name see how what i'm doing here i'm taking each section of it and putting it in my own words i mean we could spend a long time studying this prayer it's very beautifully simplistically complex um but anyway as part of this workshop we were all invited to express this prayer in whatever way worked for us some people were doing artwork and drawings and others were uh, giving massage as their expression of this prayer and meditating on that as they were giving massage to someone. Um, of course, I, I turned to music. There is a very beautiful uh, rendition of the prayer that is in Aramaic, which I will do another time. Right now, I'm inviting you the rest of today and tomorrow, however long you have or want to spend on it, to dissect that prayer. Take it apart, phrase by phrase. Put it in your own words. What does it mean to you? And because I'm asking you to do it, uh, I'm going to do it too. I'm going to play for you the song that I wrote that for me was the expression of this prayer that came out of this particular retreat. Um, and it's called Forever God, parenthesis, the Lord's Prayer, close parenthesis. Um, we'll touch base on the other side. I hope, I hope it speaks to you and inspires you to develop your own expression for your own life, in your own time, your own circumstances of the Lord's Prayer. Here we go. Creator God, which art in heaven, as we forgive the world and save us from all trials inside free us from temptation lord deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom and yours is the power Forgive the world and free. 
that prayer mean to you? I'm certain that every one of us has different associations with the prayer, different times when we have said it or different forms of it that we've said or well just different associations. But what does it mean to you word for word? You know Jesus was talking to Abba Father teaching us how to pray did I think that he was going to teach us word for word how to pray? That's not how usually how good teachers work, is it? They usually show us how to do something and then encourage us to make it their own, make it our own. So I guess that's what I'm trying to push you a little to do today. We get so locked into formulaic prayer sometimes. And I, I believe that we were being encouraged by Jesus to pray like this. Which means to find the words, find the imagery, find, and maybe it's not words, maybe it's music, maybe it's art. To find some way to capture the essence of that prayer in your own prayer life. We could spend a lifetime doing that one. I hope you'll take a couple days or a weekend or whatever and work on it a little bit. I'm Deb Swift, pastor of South Presbyterian Church in Rochester, New York, and thank you for joining me for this prayerful pause with the pastor, a time out of our day when we can focus on something greater than ourselves. Until next time, God bless. Take care. See you later. Bye for now.